Hi, my name is Vincent Rui, I'm from Imperial College London and I'm a researcher. I would say that I'm a biological engineer, meaning that uh, I'm trying to apply engineering principles to biological systems. So uh, from a practical point of view it means that uh, I would uh, take a bacteria and manipulate its DNA so that it, it does something useful for us. So it could be uh, producing biofuels or biomaterials, maybe some new drugs. So I first uh, started with a Master of Science in electri Electrical Engineering, sorry. I was uh, when I was studying in France. I then followed up on uh, working in the industry for three years. And uh, after that, I, I thought that I, I wanted to do a bit more, uh, um, to explore more the research side. So I, I decided to go back to university and move to, to London at Imperial College to, to start a, a PhD in computational biology. I guess as far as I can remember, I've always uh, broken uh, down my toys and uh, opened them up to, to try to figure out how they, they, they would work. And uh, I was always curious to, to know how things uh, are, are built. So uh, when it came to, to, to make a choice in terms of career, it was quite natural for me to go for the engineering and, and learning how to, to build and maybe think. So now that I've finished my uh, PhD, uh, I'm working as a researcher at Imperial, and I have uh, different options that are, are possible for me. I can uh, keep working for the university and become a, a lecturer, or I can uh, also go back into, into the industry and develop some, uh, some technologies for biological engineering. Uh, I would quite like to, uh, to get back to the industry and, uh, because the, when I was working uh, during my first uh, three years after my master, I quite enjoyed uh, working on, on problems that had a need in the market and with, uh, where that would affect real people. And maybe in research sometimes you, you're lacking this type of uh, healthy pressure. So during the day you really do a huge amount of different things, it's very diverse. In research, you, the first thing you need to do, I guess, is to, to keep up with the, uh, the, the newest uh, findings. So you, you read the literature, you read the articles that are published on a daily basis, and, uh, and from there you, you design your, your studies and uh, you make sure that uh, you, your contributions are, are going to push forward the field. <laughs> then, uh, in terms of the work, uh, my, uh, my type of uh, engineering really involved uh, computational work, but also wet lab work where I would uh, grow bacteria and try to, to experiment uh, with them to see how they react to different conditions and so on. And uh, at the end, there's also a component about communicating about your research. So it's uh, within the university where you, you meet uh, other groups and, uh, and contribute to multidisciplinary projects. But also uh, it comes uh, three or four times a year when you, you go on a conference and uh, you, you talk about your research and you meet uh, other researchers in your field. To, to try to work out uh, how things uh, can be can be explained. What's the best thing about your job? I guess I really enjoy the, my work because I keep learning every day. Uh, it's really keeping me on my toes and uh, I love uh, also the fact that I'm bringing my engineering background to a, a whole new field, a whole new field of biology for me. So I would definitely recommend to, to go for an engineering career. It's a really stimulating and, and vibrant uh, type of uh, job that you can do. You, you have the, the feeling that you can be very creative and make an impact on, uh, on things.